And all of a sudden they're on there and she comes out with the baby. And I, I told my wife, I go, I don't even want, I don't believe, we live in such a fantasy fucking land. I want to know the cameras that they're putting in as they go away from the camera. You know that hallway you have to go into? That's where I want the cameras, to see her turn around and go, fuck you, you black motherfucker. Give me my baby <laughs> back. You fuck my sister, you nasty nigga motherfucker. That's what I wanted to see. Not that smile and the fake fucking tear. You know, it's such a fucking fake situation. Miley Cyrus, I That's, love that dirty bitch. Right. I love it till last night. The thing with the homeless little kid. What she do with the homeless she kid? She sent some homeless little half a fag up there to say that, you know, uh, Hollywood makes $8 billion and there's 1,030 fucking kids on the street. You know what? I was in the fucking street because it was my choice, and so are you. You want to run away from your fucking house because your dad won't let you go to the fucking prom or whatever the fuck. Do you see him? Do you see a little I kid? heard about he it. He was a half a fucking, like, homo. I, I don't even know. And, and she's in the back crying, you know, jumping up and fucking down. <laughs> and people comparing it to Marlon Brando. No, Marlon Brando did something from his heart. Not because he was going to be on TMZ. Yeah. It was 1970-something. It wasn't because he did it to impress people. It was because Marlon Brando was really fucking crazy. He was really fucking crazy. Did you hear why people are going crazy tonight? About what? Sarah Silverman brought, like, THC drops on, the like, the Emmy red carpet, and everyone's saying it's so, so amazing. I just I, I, I thought of you. Like, she brought, like, the, like, the dropper of THC drops. And, and was giving them to people? No, she took it out at, like, at, like an interview, apparently. I didn't see it because I was here, but... Uh, I just I just thought of Joe, I, just, I just thought of Joey like like oh what my we God <laughs> look at her she's so cool with the reefer oh my God <laughs> on ABC with a vapor pen or something that's what it was it was a vapor pen well oh, I, I didn't see it it's amazing that it's Miley Cyrus is terrible man that that the the uh, they did that that profile on her where it was like a documentary and they were like you're making such bold decisions like you're so bold and like. And then they, they go, what'd she do? She was like, yeah, I mean, the thing is, like, you just can't care about what somebody thinks. And it's like, okay. And that's that's her mantra. And then they, then the music has nothing to do with that. It's just, like, it's just totally overproduced bullshit. Like, it's, there's no, like, actual musical talent involved in what we're watching. We're just watching Not somebody. Not a fucking, you know, music is to the point where there's nobody really doing live music. They're all putting tracks on and it's society, these young kids that pay for that shit. Yeah. And they go and they feed that shit. $300 for that fucking blonde in, in uh, Vegas. You know, whatever her name is. Brit- not, yeah, Britney Spears. That's 300 bucks. Go to Vegas. Uh, go online. See where the tickets are for Britney Spears in Las Vegas. They ain't no twenty two fifty. I'll tell you that fucking much. <laughs> All right? She's got a residency there. Her tickets are three bills. Three fucking bills. And you know she's going to lip sync. And you still continue to pay it. So whose fault is that? You know, David Grohl has like a big beef with music today. I don't, you know, I read little excerpts. He's mad at the, the the music that they have on that show where people judge you. You know, whatever that. Not the View, but the other fucking one. I don't know the one about singing. Oh, uh, the not, Voice. The Voice. I know he had a big. Then I read an article about three months ago, and then Josh Wolf was saying he had a conversation with Dave Grohl, and Dave Grohl was saying the same thing. That mu- and you want me to tell you what's really missing from music? Drugs. You think Big so? Heroin, yeah, it's got to make a comeback for these fucking people. <laughs> be real. They showed some band last night. These guys have never even fucking drank club soda. And that's why they're so uptight. Listen, when Guns N' Roses... And stale and boring. Yeah, oh, boring. You've heard this shit before. Music is fucking horrible. It is fucking horrible. I try to listen to like the the, uh, the fucking and the rap is fucking horrible yeah, the, and that urban shit is fucking horrible and I grew up on everything I grew up on country I grew up on soul music I grew up on black music I grew up on fucking Spanish music and I tell you it's uh, that Spanish rap oh fuck no wonder those Mexicans are shooting each other that is horrific that is her, what is that called pitbull no oh. What is he fucking saying? <laughs> Where's his fucking stuff? What I mean, I mean, I got <laughs> it's mean, fucking not. terrible, that shit. And I'm Spanish. I go to Miami, bro, and I want to shoot myself. Why? The young, the new breed, the young. The reggaeton? The reggaeton and all that shit. <laughs> Come on, we were, we were doing quaaludes at a fucking club, fucking standing there holding the wall. What reggae fucking tongue? Oh, please. They do need heroin again. They are you, no, Guns and no, Roses. No, they need it. They need it. I'm they saying. need it. In music again. It's those guys know. would do. Imagine this when they were on. They were on world tours at one point for like 
like three years in a row. Like they didn't fucking stop touring the world for a few Ooh. years. Guns N' Roses. You remember like and, and like yeah, that Appetite for Destruction yeah, yeah. and the next album. They would just tour Use the your world. Illusion. Yes, they would tour the world and then tour the world again. And they were drinking like a handle of fucking Jack every night. Oh Each my guy. God. Each guy was fucking just absolutely brought the Grammy Awards on ABC. You should have seen them. They fucking they were fucked up. They were always fucked up fucked on heroin. Everything. everything on national. Put it up on YouTube. The Guns and Roses accepting an award in the fucking eighties and nineties. You'd sit there and go, "Oh my god!" So but it's at up. least they were real. Yeah, yeah. At least they were fucking real. This last night, the scene I seen with Beyonce and Jay Z, and I've always loved Beyonce. Everybody knows I love Beyonce. I love yeah. Jay Z too. But you know, somebody's got to fuck somebody after a while. There's too much yeah. money involved there. Yeah. There's too much money. There's too many fucking hoes. And in the black world, they're fucking slippery. Those dirty hoes. Pay my bills. All that shit. You wrote that shit, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you wrote that shit, bitch. Uh, you know, what do you think? There's got to be a hot twenty-one-year-old black chick right now that wants that Jay Z dick. A How? little apartment in Harlem. How what? Many? Close uh, to a Popeyes. What? Thousands of them. Like What's that. up? Nothing. Did no, you I, find it? I was it ninety-two, maybe. Yeah, go ahead. Do you want to play it? Yeah, look what they fucking look like. Look up. No, that's music. Well, Accepting no, no. a fucking... Yeah, they're, they're walking up to accept the award. Right, What's the music playing? All right, play it, play it, play it. We'd like to thank Andy Moorhan, Warren well, they Hewlett, fucked up. Josh Richmond, yeah, Louis the- Marciano, <laughs> Eddie Rosenblatt. Fucked up! Sitting there, laying there. Of other people I can't remember right how now. Many, how many guys have sunglasses on? Oh, yeah. On? This has nothing to do At with least Michael two. Jackson. At thank least you. two. Yeah, there's one guy in the background. Yeah, I think it was like 91, because the album came out in 88, 87. Well, I got sentenced 88, 88. And fucking... Uh, you got sentenced in 88? Yeah. And that's how I remember that. That whole... When I got sentenced, the hot video was Sweet Child of Mine. Oh, that was a fucking hot okay, video. Okay, that was the hot video already. Uh, Welcome to the Jungle was already out. It was Sweet Child of Mine. And once I got locked up, everybody, every fucking white guy in jail had... Had, had that had album. fucking uh, had Guns N' Roses fucking... That was the shit, man. 